A warm hello to all my students of class 9. Today I would like to focus on this poem titled On Killing a Tree. So here the poet sensitizes the reader and highlights the fact that trees are living things. He equates trees with humans to convey that trees should not be cut because destroying trees is just like killing a human being a tree does not die by merely cutting because it regrows from where it is cut if it has to be destroyed then it has to be uprooted the poet considers the tree as a living organism which has the right to live like any other creature on earth but man is killing trees with utmost cruelty and callousness the tree represents nature and the poem also suggests that nature is indestructible the tree could also be a symbol of mankind despite wars and other destructive activities human kind will not easily come to an end the poet g patel was born on 18th august 1940 He is an Indian Parsi poet, playwright, painter as well as a practicing physician. He belongs to a group of writers who have subscribed themselves to the green movement which is involved in an effort to protect the environment. His poems speak of deep concern for nature and expose man's cruelty to it. His works include poems How do you withstand in the year 1966 body 1976 and mirrored mirroring 1991 he has also written three plays so now let me explain the poem stanza wise now as you see in the first stanza you get to see difficult words like jab consuming crust leprous and sprouting So I've already given you the meaning and it reads this way. It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown slowly consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves. So in this stanza you get to see words like jab which means a quick stab consuming means to use crust means the surface of the earth leprous hide means a uh, discolored bark or something that's covered with scales and sprouting means a new growth of a plant or a leaf In stanza 1 the poet is trying to tell us that uh, killing a tree is not easy and that it takes a lot of time simply a jab of a knife is not enough because a tree grows straight out of the earth nourishing itself on the nutrients that is found on the earth along with years of sunlight water and air and it also tells us that even though the bark looks scaly and discolored leaves and branches do grow out of it So in stanza 2 the poet writes So hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size So here we are introduced to new words like hack hack means a blow with an axe heal means to cure or become better curl means a spiral shape twigs are small uh, thin branches of trees and miniature is something that is very small in size so now in the second stanza the poet is trying to tell us that chopping off a bough is not enough to bring a tree down these uh, jabs may be able to inflict or cause pain on the tree but the pain is not enough to kill it 
and the bleeding bark that is the part where it has been wounded or where a bow is chopped off will heal in time it also says that new green uh, twigs will grow again and uh, that the bows chopped off will be replaced by new bows which will grow into their former size no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth so here in the stanza we come across words like pull out which means to remove anchoring earth which means something that gives stability and security to the root snap means a breaking sound and earth cave means the surface of the earth in which the foundation is laid so here in this uh, stanza the poet is trying to explain how a tree should be killed he says that the root has to be pulled out to kill a tree the root which is the source of a tree's life must be pulled out of its cave in order to mentally harm the tree by earth cave the poet means the point deep inside the earth where the root is attached the poet believes that once the center the life source that is the root is exposed the tree becomes weak the source is described as white and wet probably alluding to a tree sap which is white liquid then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done so here too we get to see words like scorching which means turning into a brownish color due to uh, heat then choking meaning Uh, unable to breathe freely and twisting meaning to injure by bending so in the last stanza the poet tries to tell us that the exposed life source that is the root which when exposed to the sun and the air will be scorched due to excess heat and slowly it will start to become brown with all the softness fading out and leaving behind a lifeless remainder with time it will become dry and shapeless leaving a corpse where a tree used to be in short this exposure will leave the root vulnerable to all the vagaries of weather which will ultimately weaken and kill the tree Hence it is high time that we people realize the value of trees and start growing and saving trees. Having said that, thank you and have a safe stay.